Greetings, this is Jerry Revere of the Technology Strategy and Development Team, TSD. The video you are about to view details the Avaya Diagnostic Server 2.0 install process using the unattended mode. The ADS underscore response dot properties file is mentioned. That file is detailed in another Avaya Mentor video that you can view. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Diagnostic Server 2.0 in the unattended mode. The Avaya Diagnostic Server 2.0 has two components, Cell Gateway 2.3 and the SLA MON 2.3. Both components can be installed with this installer or either one individually. If an earlier version of the components is already installed, the choice to upgrade is offered. There is some data that needs to be gathered and required checks need to be made pre-upgrade. The system needs to be running Red Hat Linux 5 or 6 in either a 32-bit or a 64-bit mode. The latest version of Java 1.7 JRE is required. The server must meet the documented minimums for processor, memory, and hard disk. The recommended hard disk configuration is to have a minimum of 220 gigabytes of free space for a new installation. A pre-configured ADS underscore response dot properties file will be used for this unintended installation. A few of the key values are noted here. The automatic software update feature will need to be optioned off or on in the response properties file. The SMTP server an SMTP server port used and an administrator email is minimally required in the file for appropriate installation. A secondary admin email can be entered if an SMTP server authentication is required. Those choices are offered as well. The Avaya data center information is defaulted in the file and should be accepted in most circumstances. The cell models package is resident in the install package or can be downloaded from the Avaya data center if the firewall permits at time of install. The properties file points to the model's default path where the models were expanded to when the installer was extracted. The cell policy server and SNMP subagent will be an option choice if needed. The properties file also has several SLA monitor install questions and a question if the WebLM server application is to be installed. Let's start the install. I have opened a terminal window and have elevated my user permission to the Linux super user root. Previously I SCP'd the install package to the system and will extract it now using the tar command shown. After the package has expanded, there is a directory called ADS installer and the ADS version number at its end. I have pre-configured the ADS response properties file also in the current directory. I am now copying it into the ADS installer directory. I am now changing directory into the installer directory to launch the install. The file called install.sh is what is used with the unattended option to start the install. Enter dot slash install.sh followed by the option of minus unattended to start the install process. I have entered that now. Since I am using a non-production Linux machine for this video, I wanted to note the hard disk does not meet the recommended size, so as shown, it provides the recommended, which is listed as required, and the actual space on the hard drive. I provided an option in the properties file to allow the install to proceed. The pre-configured properties file I copied into the installer directory was set to install both the cell gateway and the SLA monitor. The complete install will take in reality about 25 minutes, but I have used fast motion video to allow you to see all that is occurring. Use your player controls to stop and examine the video during the install as needed. The majority of the time will be for the cell gateway portion of the install. 
I will return when the SLA monitor install begins. At this point, the install actually looks like it is frozen, performing the file execution for the agent gateway. This portion of the install requires the most time. Please be patient as it will complete after about 10 to 12 minutes. The SLA monitor portion has now started to install. As shown, there are three packages that will be installed. They are shown in the screen. ASG Tools, SLA Mon, and the SLA Mon web application for WebLM. Upon completion of the SLA MON components, the cell gateway and the SLA MON components will need to be started. You can see that is occurring now. A command prompt will be returned after the services have successfully started. The cell gateway and the SLA monitor version 2.3, which are the components of the release 2.0 of ADS, have completed successfully. To administer SLA monitor, you need to create or modify existing users. Please now view a short segment from another video I created demonstrating administering an ADS admin user and a view-only user. I typically create two users for the SLA MON functionality. The first type is an administrative type user that I create as ADS admin and put that user in the ADS admin group that is created during the install called EQM ADMIN. The second user I create is a basic user that can log into the SLA MON server and perform various monitor functions, but is prohibited from creating or modifying things like zones or test patterns. That username I use is ADS user. Any user on the Linux server can be added into the EQM ADM group, but for this demonstration I will be using the two, two usernames I noted previously. As you can see, I have logged into the Linux shell of the server we installed the ADS 2.0 application on. I will need to become the super user to perform this operation. I am now issuing several commands to create the users and group associations. The first command is user add minus capital G EQM admin ADS admin to create the admin user and then we'll assign it a password to protect it using the password ADS admin command. The next command creates the ADS user with the command user add ADS user. Assign a password to it to secure that account with password ADS user. Please disregard the bad password output as it, I am using a simplistic password for common lab use in this example. Using the command cat slash etc slash passwd piping it to grep ads, you can see our two new users have been created and added to the system. Finally, using the command cat slash etc slash group piping it to grep for ads, you can see that the user ads admin has membership now in the eqm adm IN group for administrative privileges to the SLA MON application. That concludes the administrative responsibilities for installing a new SLA MON ADS 2.0 server. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback. 
at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.